So, I started my channel over five years ago now, and almost since the beginning I've talked about how I wanted to get a new gaming computer. Well, a few months ago that became a reality, and I built one based around the latest graphics cards that had recently come out. Uh, I had asked for suggestions on parts a while back, and I want to thank you for the input that I received that set me in the right direction. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with what I built, and so far it's been able to run everything that I've tried at the highest setting, without any issues, and record it at 60 frames a second. I think it's really going to open up the games that I can start adding to the channel, and will allow me to cover newer ones as they come out. Uh, one thing I didn't do, however, was actually tell you all what I had built. So, finally, I made this video to do that. So here we go. Uh, as I had said, I wanted to base the whole thing around the new GTX graphics cards, and initially I had wanted a GTX 1080. However, after a little research, I decided I didn't really need that, since I don't play intensive first-person shooters or have a monitor that even supports 4K gaming. So, I saved a bit of money and downsized to a 1070, specifically the MSI GeForce GTX 1070 Gaming X variant. Uh, this I have paired with an MSI Z170A Gaming M5 motherboard, which is probably overkill, but I like that it will allow me to upgrade my card and processor in the future, since I didn't go full high-end on either of them. Uh, speaking of which, my CPU is an Intel i5 6600K quad-core Skylake processor, I had thought about going i7, but again, I downsized because I don't play a lot of high-end games, and the savings from both this and the card was several hundred dollars. Uh, the cooling fan for the CPU is a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo, which is a slightly newer version of one that seems to have been the staple for gaming computers. And of course, the thermal paste used was the Arctic Silver 5, which pretty much everyone uses, I guess. Uh, I've got 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM with uh, the G-Skill Ripjaws V-Series or 5-Series, and the difference in render time has been enormous. Uh, a large part of why my videos were never better than 720p or 30 frames a second was that recording anything higher made video sizes that took hours to render. And now I can render a 30 gigabyte RAW into a 1 gigabyte video in around 10 to 15 minutes, so it's pretty awesome. My install drive is a Samsung 850 Evo solid state with 250 gigabytes. It's coupled with one of my old terabyte hard drives used as storage and a three terabyte Seagate external that I've had for backup storage. And I'm powering all of this with an EVGA Supernova 650 generation two power source, which was recommended and feels pretty adequate. Uh, one thing that I like about the power source motherboard and graphics card is that they're all smart on power consumption and fan operation. My 8 plus year old previous computer ran full blast, and this new one is basically all but silent. Uh, in fact, the fan in the external hard drive on my desk is louder than my tower when I'm not playing a game. Uh, and finally, everything is wrapped inside a Corsair Carbide Series 200R black steel case. There were many options available for this, and several really cool cases that were suggested, but I didn't need anything flashy, and price-wise this one does the trick. It is also very open for fan expansion, but without full fans it's going to require dust filters. Uh, my max budget for this build was $1,500, and the whole thing came to a little under $1,300. With an i7 and 1080 it would have been around $1,700. And I figured that the savings could be spent on games or something, rather than on technology that goes obsolete faster and faster, and, and I think that given the games I tend to play, this will probably be up to snuff for several years. As for now, it will allow me to play something like the Guild 3 as soon as it comes out, instead of a few years later when no one cares anymore. Uh, I'll put a list with links in the description if you want to look at it. The prices for these parts may be different now, but with Black Friday and Christmas sales coming up, Duplicating it could end up being a bit cheaper, too. So, now you know what I'm playing with. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.